Welcome everyone to Rockingham Speedway for race number 20 of the National Throwback Series. Robbie Anderson is on pole for today's race. Here's your full qualifying results. Drivers, and there is the race command. Engines fired up. We are ready to go. Field is rolling off. So Kenny Johnson currently leads the points still, but he leads it by only 15 points. Snow Chaser with that second win of the season gains five positions, moves up to second. Richie Hiroshi is third. Max Anderson gained one, he is fourth. Chapman has dropped one, he is fifth. Ash Curtis drops four, he is sixth. Alexander Rowe losing one seventh. Sam Curtis remains in eighth. Cole Sampson gained eight spots, he is up to ninth. Chris Sang is up 4, he is 10th. Alright, so that is your top 10 points. Uh, runners, as we're getting ready to go green, here we go, pace car is in. Green flag is waving, we're underway. Forty-one car has only crossed the line. Who is the one out? Oh, it's a double zero snow chaser. Stop before the start, and we got ourselves a crash already. Already got some championship drama, and then the yellow flag coming to the line. Ruby Anderson will take the yellow flag. All right, first caution of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's see here. Andrew England and the twentieth stripe boss, the two Pontiacs coming off turn two. Comes up the track, gone to the 20, 20 into the inside wall, bounces off, comes back across into the four car, instant payback. Cause a wreck, though a pretty, well not a big wreck, but a couple of, several drivers were involved in that mess. You could see a lot of drivers into the back, stacking up, and there's Cole Sampson. Big damage there, the 11 of Joseph Curtis gets hit around a bit too. 66, 36, 57. Andrew England, he's definitely out. Bracken, I think, was just able to avoid the crash. Golden board here with Cole Sampson, who was the biggest mover, but it looks like he's going to lose some of those spots, maybe even more. Right into the nose of the four car, and also into the 33, adding even more damage. Joseph Curtis and the 11 on the outside line. So he went low first, then went back to the top into the 66 car, Rich Hiroshi. Also gets hit by Eric Monaco in the 83. Davison made it, but Rodriguez did not. He gets involved. Here we also got Sam Curtis. I think he's okay though. Don't think he got collected. So a couple cars definitely out of this one. Jordan Newman stuck in between in the uh, transition there. So, most of them got through, but uh, someone though with heavy damage cobbled into the 98. Yeah, that's heavy damage. Gone to the right side. Looks like uh, just just skimmed off the four, but caught him in the bad spot. So he didn't sideswipe him. Got some big contact there. Cobbled in, just can't catch a break. Still, all right. We'll take you back to the restart. All right, here we go. So the double zero is out of the race. Didn't even start. See what happened. It was mechanical, but we don't even know what it, exactly it was. So 38 cars remaining, 36 on the lead lap. We're getting ready to go green. Here we go. Pace car is in. Green flag is back out, and a great launch for Ruby Anderson. Trying to find Ruby in the uh, points. He is 27th. 5 and 5 for top 5s and top 10s. So, 
All his top 10s came when he got top 5s, but never got a single top 10 outside of that. Or, yeah. Mitchell Hodak, Brad Cheston. Cheston started second in this race. We're starting to see the old Brad, Brad Cheston back. Starting to see him run up front a little more in the in both series. Looking for that win. Doing a little better here at least, I think. Definitely is. Alright, looking to retake second here. Back here we got the 63 and the 77. Here's Colin Baird and the 53 on the inside line. Chris Seng and Josh King as well. Three wide here, three wide. And we got ourselves a yellow. It'll be the 43 of Ruby Anderson once again, taking the caution flag. Alright, second yellow of the day. Let's take a look at the replay. Alright, let's take a look here. So, Davison, Rodriguez, looks like Davison, in the one car. Hooks the back end of the 27, coming off turn 4. Looks like he's just trying to tuck in. So, but the 27 was able to drive away as Max Anderson collides with the 36 of Noodles, who won the first Rockingham event. Definitely not going to win it now. So big damage there to the 66, a small crash. But well, not for Anderson. Let's go on board with Noodles here. Just a lone car that made contact with the 66. He just slid right in front. Plus, thought he was going to keep it down low. No smoke though, but still got quite a bit. However, Anderson does. So he's definitely out of this one. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Alright, getting ready. So still, so, no, the 36 cars now remaining. So Anderson and Noodles are out. Here we go. Green flag waves back underway. Hodak in the 45 looking low. There he goes. First seat change of the race, maybe. And he's got the spot. Three cars well, right behind. New leader, 45. Eli Bright in the 30, moving up to third. King is now in fifth. Three tenths of a second lead here. Eli Bright wants second. Neck and neck here for a second place. Three wide we see back there. Here's Josh King now looking to take another spot as well. So let's see where the other top 10 drivers are, points wise. So Anderson we know has crashed out. Kenny Johnson we don't know where he is. Somewhere around here. Where is he? There he is. So Johnson's in 20th. Second place, he doesn't have to worry because some of didn't even start the race. 15 points back, not a lot. But the third place, Hiroshi, is 22 points back. Anderson was 23. So let's see where is Rich Hiroshi at the moment. There he is. So Hiroshi is in 8th place. Only 22 back. So I think we're at the moment. Hiroshi... Maybe... Would be the points leader. Maybe. He is the highest running. 
Chapman in the eight car. We don't know where he is. He like bright his close in on the leader. Let's take a look at the standings here. Instead of just going through, Chapman is in 17th. Okay, he's not too far back. And uh, Ash Curtis in the 33 got caught up in a wreck. He is 32nd. Alexander Rowe, he's not too far away either. He's up here in the top 10. He's in 6th. Now to 5th. Sam Curtis, 87. I think he's further back as well. 27th. Cole Sampson is out. Chris Sang. He is within the top 15. So he's falling back a bit. Here comes Eli Bright on the inside. Gets a little too close. Little bump and run. Little tap there. Gonna try again. Looking inside here this time again through three and four. He really gets on that back bumper. Eli Bright has been a very calm driver all season long. Maybe a little too calm. As it hasn't been so great. But not terrible. For the uh, 30 team. Hodak won early in Las Vegas. So he's got a couple winless drivers. Tim Randolph, Josh King, and Eli Bright. So nothing to lose for a lot of these drivers. No championship to worry about. Here he goes, Eli Bright. This time he's going to try to make a clean pass. They get close to that quarter panel though. Slow traffic might be in our way. There they are in uh, one and two. Leaders just coming off four. Side by side, Josh King in the 17. Looking to nab second, and he does. Randolph in the 77, the lone Ford in the mix. So, so far it's been a very tight uh, championship battle. From first to eighth, uh, the drivers are less than 100 points back, but then from 9th, Cole Sampson is 199 points back, and Chris Sang, who is 10th, is 226 points behind. So a huge margin, so those all those 8 drivers are have been pretty much almost equal. Because that's, uh, that's kind of incredible, usually the gap isn't that huge. So Sam Curtis is test to his eighth has 2,149 points and then Nicole Sampson as we see a lot of smoke caution is out has a uh, Cole Sampson is 2,028 points so wow that's a huge margin for uh, drivers who are not in the lead all right we'll take a look at the replay all right take a look here Brian Butcher Casey Nanico right off for four both of them hit the wall Nanico, however, bounced off of it into the 8, back into the 10. And Nanico into the wall again. Just bouncing all over the place and then collects Chris Sang. David Davison, Blazy Batar. That was a little weird right there, Davison. Okay, he got into the side. Kind of uprooted the 26 a little bit too. So it was a little odd, like why, why they were on two wheels for like a moment there. So they both go into the outside wall, the 81 as well. Had that big flip in the first race. But this time, not so much. So uh, Davison continues on, but he wrecked again into turn three. That's why you saw the leaders cut down to the apron. He's on the apron of the racetrack, but then he goes too fast, and then he just gets into Jordan Newman. Oh, he takes a mega hit. Yeah, that was uh, weird on the one car's part. He was on the flat, but then he drifts up the racetrack and uh, collects Jordan Newman. He just goes straight into the wall hard. He was already having a bad day, 35th. And then he just gets taken out under caution like that. So let's go back to the initial wreck. Go on board here with the one. 
And Nanako just couldn't keep it under control. So now he's at the got on two wheels for a moment there. Spins out spins around. So had a lot of cars on their way, but it was mostly clear. So no one else luckily got caught up in that crash. Alright, let's take you back to the restart. Okay, here we go. Getting ready for the green here. 11 to go when they take the green flag. Eli Bright gonna lead us to the green. Pace car is in. Here we go, green flag. Eli Bright doesn't look like he got off to a good start to the inside. Tim Randolph though, Josh King waited too long. Side by side here, Cheston also on the low side. Alright, 10 laps to go. Tim Randolph's got some damage to the back end. Don't know who hit him though. No one really has front end damage. But it could have been from earlier. Might be able to pinpoint that. Oh, the 44. Almost gets turned by Ruby Anderson. So right now, there's our points leader at the moment. Casey Nanico has dropped quite a bit. He was in the top 10 and now he's down to 18th. Eric Monaco we see is also up, is in the, well not 20th. Chapman, so most of the contenders are running in the top 15 here, so. Don't think anyone's gonna make big gains here. They're all with, are pretty close to each other. Alexander Rowe, however. He is 7th in the points, running in 10th. Might be able to gain a bit more. Nicholas Chouit on the 5. Also on the move here. So the National Series, as a car hit the wall, is there, are they crashing? No, they're not crashing. It was Tim Randolph who managed to save it. It's got damage on both sides now. Oh, Mew is up against the wall a little too high. They hang on. Eli Bright's got a nice, comfortable lead. Can he hang on? Just hope. Well, um, well, if we get a caution now, then the race will be over, I think. Here they come. Michael Shuit already has a win. Brad Chesson in third does not, as we know. He liked Bright neither. Three car looks low. Five car with the block. Eli Bright runs a much higher line through one and two. Don't think that's working out for him. Here comes a five. As he cuts low, just able to shut the door on the five car. All right, looks like we got ourselves a race. I think. Wait, was that the yellow? Yep, that was the yellow. Never mind. All right, so that is it there. Eli Bright's going to win this race unless something goes wrong. Let's take a look at the replay. All right, let's see. So we see Chapman, Bracken, Chapman in the wall. 15 car gets forced down into the grass. He locks it down in the inside wall, so helps him straighten it out. But then it uh, looks like he hit the wall again, came back, and wipes out the 33. So the two car wreck in one and two. No oncoming traffic, oh, hang on. I think they, they cleared, did they clear? 
Dude, that was close. Ash Curtis, he's still rolling. So Ash Curtis drops even further back. Does not need this right now. Yeah, Ash Curtis and Sam Curtis. Yeah, they're up there. They look like they'd be the favorites. Not anymore. Another crash taking them out. It's going to lose a lot of points anyways. Going to lose even more. All right, so that was the last caution of the race. We'll uh, take you to the finish. So Eli Bright's going to get win number one here. Juit, Cheston, Bear, Alexander Rowe looking to be our top five. As here they come to the checkers in yellow. So that block right there Eli Bright made just made it in time. Held back the five car. And there it is, checkered flag is out. Eli Bright is your winner here at Rockingham. All right, let's take a look at the four race results. So there you have it, Eli Bright wins here at Rockingham. And uh, for the rest of the top 10, Nick Holliday, Ruby Anderson, Patrick Mute, Brandon Wilcox, and Tim Randolph. Here are the rest of the race results. 33 cars finished the race, 32 of them on the lead lap. So. Uh, much calmer than our first event. The first race we had had a lot more crashes and a lot more spectacular ones too. But uh, today it was a lot more calmer. Not too many big ones. And uh, overall while we were having... I think we had a little bit more leaders. Maybe. Uh, it was about to be a great battle for the win. But the caution had to come out. And uh, ended the race. So yep, there you have it here at... Uh, North Carolina or Rockingham, whichever one you prefer, will now take you to Victory Lane.